Loki episode one has dropped. It is here, and this might end up being even better than WandaVision and Falcon and Winter Soldier, possibly. Um, and I'm here to tell you why. So this show, um, what I want to go ahead and kind of just give you my thoughts on the first episode, and also maybe some predictions and what I feel this is setting up for the future of the MCU. Right. So first and foremost, this episode is called glorious purpose and it's that title is really just a symbol of loki right he was always feeling that he had a glorious purpose he was meant to be a god king of midgard and as we know it turns out that he never does right and on game he gets killed by thanos and that's kind of what is broken down in this episode so this picks up right after uh Endgame, or the last time we saw Loki Endgame, when he grabs the Tesseract when the Avengers are going back in time, and he is ported to um, what a, the Gobi Desert, right? And timekeepers come in. So let's let's go into that, right? There's the TVA. TVA is Time Variance Authority, and this group of people exist outside of time and space, and the timekeepers are like these three godly beings uh, they're basically referred to as like reptilians these lizard creatures uh that have made a sacred flow of time in quotes right so th they know your past now future everything they've set up everything and the way that it was supposed to go is that loki is killed by thanos right um so he was not supposed to grab that test reactor it was supposed to play out the way that it did in endgame I didn't so they come to take him to basically kind of reset him and reset that timeline because that's where he messed up and yes for those of you that are wondering well what about the avengers going back in time doesn't that kind of mess up the sacred timeline or anything they do address this in this episode by the judge that is judging loki if he's guilty not guilty right she explains that the avengers were supposed to go back in time to do that so that is not um out of the box and that's why they don't know of the tva you only know of the tva if you are a variant and what is a variance a variance is a factor quality of being different divergent or inconsistent right so same thing if you go out of the consistent timeline that is supposed to happen you're considered a variance and the tva will go after you to to get you and reset that timeline that's basically the premise of the tva that's that's their story so with that being said Loki's pulled, and it's kind of a, it's funny, it's a funny episode, right, I mean, well, the whole episode's not funny, but they kind of make it comedic, and it's really weird, this has a weird vibe, kind of like WandaVision, and that's what they're going for, it's not really kind of grounded, um, like a Falcon of Winter Soldier uh, story, like, it's not like Iron Man, like, in, on Earth, and stuff like that, like, this is in a different dimension, um, so anyways, I digress to continue, he, he's about to go ahead and get reset. The judge deems him uh, guilty. They're going to reset him. And this is when we Morbius kind of comes in. Morbius is Owen Wilson, right? So he's kind of like this, I guess when you say detective for the TVA. And he's like, oh, wait, hold on. Let me use him. Basically, he makes a deal with the judge. Let me use him. He can help us out. Okay, so this is where we kind of like go into a breakdown of loki's life of course and you have like the cliche idea of okay so loki obviously doesn't trust morbius he's a cop loki's the bad guy not gonna work together loki's just trying to escape but by the end of the episode he loki comes to term with who he who he is that was morbius's big question who are you who is the god king and he's not a villain right as we found out throughout the mcu for the past 10 years he's just trying to use fear as a desperate measure to be something of importance have a glorious purpose right to be important um so morbius is showing him his whole timeline his whole life and i'm i'm really condensing this down i don't, I don't want to go ahead and give you a play-by-play -play of the exact episode you you guys can watch the episode to do that right i'm here just to give you my thoughts on everything and maybe some predictions right and he he sees that you know it's his fault that his mom dies but he also sees that his dad finally says like he loves him and stuff like that and then he also sees thanos killing him and he's like oh wow so like like how i said wow i have a, such a glorious purpose also before i forget i know I'm, I'm rambling all over the place the infinity stones mean nothing here 
it, by, uh, to the TVA. In this dimension, they are nothing. They're irrelevant. They have no power, no nothing. So this is kind of cool because what they're doing is for 10 years, we've put over the, the Infinity Stones as the all-powerful, all-everything, right? And now they're for this new Phase 4 and going forward, they're like, yeah, no, the Infinity Stones are nothing. There are powers that you have no idea about that transcend the Infinity Stones, such as the Timekeepers, right, and the TVA. So that's that's kind of a cool thing to say, hey, listen, we're not using the Infinity Stones anymore, which is cool, right? Because you need, you need to put over something to make it even more of a threat or make it more significant to the plot going forward. So... That was cool. Um, now, let me... So, at the okay, at this point, he sees this whole timeline. Him and Morbius kind of come to terms, and Morbius is like, Hey, listen, I can't, I can't give you salvation. You're not going to go back to your timeline with the Tesseract and be the God King, but I can give you something better. How about you... We can basically create a new life for you, which would... It's kind of what he's saying. He didn't really say that, but you can help us catch this other variant. And Loki's like, well, why me? And he's like, because the variant's you. And then it, like, kicked by, by the end of the episode, it kicks back to, like, 1898 or something. And supposedly this is Loki. We don't see him, but this is this is Loki. It's in a hood. He's in this field. And he's causing... He's not really doing nothing. He's standing there. Timekeepers go. So you see timekeepers go there. And they think, like, oh, somebody with a time machine was just having fun. Let's just leave. But then they see this person in the field... Drops his lantern, sets everything on fire, and burns them all. And he's collecting these. So there's these little, like, um, I don't want to say bombs, but there's, like, these little cartridges that the timekeepers use to reset a spot. So they use this in the beginning of the episode when they first find Loki to, like, any people that were there, anything, that that's reset. So it's back to normal. And it looks like he's collecting them because he grabbed it when when he killed all the, um, the, t the time, not the timekeepers, the TVA members. I forgot, uh. I forgot what they're called. There, there's a name for, for the soldiers, but anyways, yeah, he's grabbing it, and that's how the episode ends. And the end credits were cool. It was kind of like uh, it was kind of like Falcon and Winter Soldier end credits, where they're showing so much different stuff. And I feel I feel like there was probably spoilers in there. I didn't re uh, read through it too much. If you guys noticed something that I didn't, definitely let me know. Um, but basically, main point is right now, what do I think this show is gonna mean going forward? I think that they are setting up the multiverse of madness, right? Because there's this one spot in the episode where um, Mrs. Time, I forgot I forgot her name. It was the, the little animated clock within the video that Loki has to watch that kind of explains to him what the TVA is, where that if something breaks out and it's unchecked, basically if a variant breaks out of the sacred timeline and they're unchecked by the TVA, it can cause... A nexus spot which will go crazy creating different multiverses and could really just destroy the the whole flow of time right kind of kind of how like um the ancient one was telling uh hulk in avengers endgame how you could ruin the flow of time kind of similar to that so they were kind of hinting at it there um anyways though i feel like that's what's going to happen now because owen wilson is using loki to find loki i don't feel that loki is the true antagonist i feel like Oh, at least, I don't feel that he's a true antagonist for this show. I feel like he'll be one of them, but I feel the timekeepers are going to be, end up being the main antagonist to Loki. And what's going to happen is, since the Loki from the main Loki that Mobius is working with is is not going on his corrected course, he's just gonna he's gonna actually help out Mobius, which would in turn, like I said, start a new life, start a new flow of time for him. This is going to break out into a multiverse, which is going to lead into Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. This is going to lead into Spider-Man 3 with all the different Spider-Mans and the villains from Sam Raimi and um, Webb and all that stuff, right, from Sony. So I feel like that's, this show is going to be a huge catalyst for that. Um, this and uh, WandaVision. I definitely feel both of them are setting the stage for Phase 4 going through. Uh, going forward so it's it's um it's kind of like uh it's not like um what is it called agents of shield where like you really didn't have to watch those um to like watch the mcu like to watch the phases and understand what's happening those are kind of like just extra spin-offs in a way uh for lack of a better way to say that these shows you're gonna want to watch these are there's crucial information in these shows that are the 
they're the stepping stool for the new movies that are going to be coming out um and possibly even up to thor 4 right so uh with that being said let me know what you guys think if you guys agree with me about this multiverse kind of thing uh the way that i think this show is going to play out exactly which i do that's my prediction for the show this first episode is great Tom Hiddleston knocked it out of the park. Owen Wilson also knocked it out of the park. I know some people don't like Owen Wilson. They think he's kind of over the top, but he's funny. He's a, he's a funny dude. I, I, I like his sense of humor, so that was cool seeing him. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of this first episode. Let me know your predictions, and if you guys can, definitely hit that like button. It does help with this YouTube algorithm, and share, 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 and subscribe to not miss any fire content coming out. Other than that, you guys have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you guys soon.